I'm OCD mom. I'm just going to do this one kind of on a lark. And um, I didn't even think I was going to do it until I was already started. So um, basically I'm starting Cyrodiil and I want to show you how to get there. So the first thing you're going to do is go to your, your menu here and you're going to choose this. And uh, you can pick from these different ones. Um, I'm below 50. It's just less crowded. I kind of like it more. Um, you'll see there's no there's no options down here. But if you highlight this, um, oh, I didn't know you could do the home. Um, you'll get an option that says join the campaign. I think it's an F. <coughs> and you'll need to make sure that there is space for whatever alliance you are. So these are all very low. And so I pressed F. It teleported me here. Um, <coughs> I'm sorry, I don't remember exactly where I landed. But um, to start the quest, you can go to map, you can open zone guide, and you can say, uh, it'll say start zone source story. And so it'll highlight the fact that the story starts at this location and it'll zoom in on this marker right here. <coughs> so in order to get there, you'll notice that um, uh, well, you'll notice on my compass, oh, hopefully you can see my compass. Um, let me look and see if you can. Yes, you can. Okay, so right in the center, you'll see there's a way shrine over there, but the way shrines don't actually take you anywhere in Cyrodiil other than back to your old locations. So you'll you'll want to just skip that for now. And the way to get around within Cyrodiil is you use these little um, transistor sites <laughs> shrines. Um, and you can go to any location that is linked um, within your uh, pact or faction, I guess. I don't know what you want to call it. So I'm going to head over here because these are the two home locations. They're behind the gates, which um, is generally pretty safe unless you're under attack. But if your gates are closed, you can pretty much travel there without having to worry at all. So I'm here, I'm going to go to this gentleman here. Welcome to Cyrodiil, soldier. Here to help out in the war? Yes, I'm ready. Where do I go? First, you need training. It starts with an easy task. Fangil waits at the western elsewhere gate with munitions for the siege range. The so Transitor's Shrine is the best way to get there and back. Veriniel can tell you more about it. Um, what if I don't need training? If you think you don't need training, speak with Grand Warlord Sorkalan. Only she can excuse you from it. Go to Fangil at the Western Ellsware Gate to start your training. Or see Sorkalan to skip training. Your choice. Oh, I want to do the training because it's actually kind of fun. But I wonder what happens if you go to... Where is this Grand Warlord Sorkalan? Let's see. Oh, it looks like they're all in front of me. I just want to see what the uh, what the, the chat options are. Hold a moment, Waka. The Dominion needs you. Yeah, well, I want to talk to this lady first. I have a war to direct, soldier. Speak with the others if you need orders. Oh, I don't want to press it. Let me see. Hold on. I don't want to press it and then not be able to do it. So let me look up Grand Sorcerer. I don't know how to spell. Oh, Grand Warlord, sorry. Warlord Sorcerer. Okay, so let's see. Grand Warlord Sorcerer. So her dialogues are I have a war to direct, soldier. Speak with the others if you need orders. And then if I choose, I've been sent to tell you I don't need training. And she says, if you're certain, 
I'll mark you down as having completed training. Are you certain? Oh, okay, then you have the yes, the option to say yes. Excellent. My latest orders are posted to the mission boards by General Thorne and uh, I don't know how to pronounce these names. Look at the notices, find a mission that fits your abilities and do it. I suggest you start with scouting missions. Welcome to the war. Okay, so this just basically yeah, you could either do you could just skip it and not have to do any training. We're going to go ahead and do it cuz it's fun. Greetings. I guard this transit shrine. Do you have questions for me? Yes, what do these shrines do? Transit shrines are the fastest way to travel among our castles and gates unless the links between them are broken. How can the links be broken? A castle's transitus link is broken if all of its resources, farm, mine, and lumber mill, are owned by the enemy, or if the castle is under attack and a section of wall or gate is heavily damaged. Okay. So, for those who haven't been here, each of the keeps have a mine, a lumber mill, and a farm. So what she's saying is if you don't control all of those, then it breaks the connection to that keep. Okay, so I think I'm going to go to this guy. Oh, wait a minute, I have to travel to the Western Elsewhere Gate. So probably back to where, yeah, back to where I started. Which is silly, because it was probably the guy that was standing right in front of me. Talk to Fangil. Hold a moment, soldier. The Dominion needs you. What do you want? Our conquest of the Imperial City is underway, soldier. No, I'm not going to do the Imperial City. That's another day. I haven't been to the Imperial City. I probably should do that at some point. War is certainly good for business. We're having trouble keeping up with demand. What do you need? Our, our, how do you pronounce his name? Sent me for munitions. About time. I almost gave this to someone else. Take it to Zahn. You'll find him at the siege range, west of the Eastern Elsewhere Gate. Just look for a Khajiit with singed fur. I'll bring it to him. Oops, what happened here? Um, let me know if you guys are seeing me okay. I noticed earlier today my camera looks kind of fuzzy, so let me know if there's any problems. Um, okay, where am I going? Travel to the eastern elsewhere. What is it just going to go back and forth? Alright, they want to make sure we know how to use these shrines, I guess. happen if they were broken between the two here. That would be horrible. <laughs> okay. Take a break. I think this is where I'm supposed to be going. There's no point in getting on my horse just yet. <laughs> Don't go this way. I mean, you can if you're like living on the edge, but I don't like damaging my armor if I don't have to pay for it. Now I can get on my horse. Flammable materials here. Watch your tail. I have a delivery for you. Ah, good. Our Karen promised this yesterday. We are always running low. I have been instructing new recruits on the use of siege weapons. Much ammunition is wasted. Okay, so we get a little bit of gold and we get 3,240 alliance points. Siege weapons are fascinating, yes? There is much to learn. There are several types. Each very different in its way. To learn about rams and flaming oil, 
Talk to Miniel by the tower. For trebuchets, catapults, and ballistae. Talk to Firamon. Those are the fun ones. Um, can I use the weapons? Of course, Walker. The range is here for that. Spend time with each weapon, firing at the targets we have set up. Talk to Firamon and Miniel, then return to me when you are done. I'll be back. Is my horse standing on the table? <laughs> See, somebody else, somebody jumped off the wall instead of uh, taking the uh, doorway. Okay, so this is the guy here that does the weapons. Those are fun. I'm going to save those for last. Yeah. Let's go talk to the lady about dropping oil on her. This ram doesn't want to move. Training rounds always get the worst. Ouch. Oh, oh. Uh, tell me about rams. To knock down a castle door, a ram's your best bet. Deploy one, get enough people on it to push it up to the door, then stay with it until the door collapses. Uh, what about flaming oil? There's a batch you can use atop the platform here. Use it as you would any other siege weapon. Just don't pour it on me or the ram, please. Tell me about rams. To knock down a castle door, a ram's your best bet. Deploy one, get enough people on it to push it up to the door, then stay with it until the door collapses. Is there a ram here I can use? Not right now, sorry. This one isn't working and we don't have any others here. Once you get out on the battlefields, you'll get plenty of chances to use rams. Oh, man. Hmm, sorry. I broke my hand uh, about a year ago, and I have a weird lump on my hand that never has healed. I, I don't know, I keep bumping it the last week or so. It really is getting painful. Okay, so um, I guess it's not gonna let me use it until I. Oh, I mean, there we go. Okay, so yeah, really exciting. I'm going to dump some flaming oil on a zombie. It's just a mouse click, simple stuff. You have to wait for it to uh, reload. It really won't let me do much. Can I dump it on myself? I wonder what would happen if I die. Well, it, I'm gonna do it. Oh, it won't let me. What is it doing? No, oh, it didn't hurt me at all. Well, that was fun. Anybody bored yet? I am. I need to talk to her again. This ram doesn't want to move. Okay, I don't think I need to talk to her. Okay, now for the fun stuff. Yes, what, what do you need? Tell me more about the weapons range. Weapon range. Trebuchets, catapults, and ballistae are the tools of our trade. They cause tremendous damage to walls and foes. We have a few of each here. Pick one that's not in use and fire at the targets on the range. Uh, what are the various weapons? Each weapon, trebuchet, ballista, or catapult, has unique abilities and uses. Tell me about trebuchets. Trebuchets work well against castle walls, dealing massive damage. There are three types, fire pots, spread burning oil, stone smash walls and foes, and ice balls cause damage and ensnare soldiers in ice. What about ballista? Ballistae? Ballistae fire fast and true. They excel at destroying enemy siege engines, including rams. Standard ballista bolts smash their targets, fire bolts cause extensive burn damage, and lightning bolts shock and ensnare their victims. Um, how do catapults work? Catapults are excellent weapons against enemy troops. Meatbag catapults spread debilitating disease. Oil causes fire damage, and scattershot causes impact damage. Do these weapons all have the same range? No, you'll see when you fire them. The trebuchet and ballistae fire the farthest, while the catapult has a shorter range. Remembering this will come in handy during assaults on castles. Okay, so let's just start at the end. Dominion Firepot and Trebuchet. What is that? Is 
that a target? Probably not, because there's not a marker on it. Oh, I did hit a dummy. Okay. You have to wait for it to load again, and there we go. So you'll see underneath, um, at the bottom, the health meter. Um, 26,000, but below that is a little um, life marker. I don't know what you want to call it. And it gets shorter and shorter each time you fire. Oh, you see that one disappeared? Because they have a limited lifespan. Remember how many shots you can get out of these? I thought it was three, but maybe not. Is that how many is that? Four? differences are because it's red, yellow, sometimes it's completely green. So there it's completely green. I guess that means it's ready to fire. That must, yellow must mean it's been activated and red must mean you have to wait. Eventually you have to replace or repair your trebuchet. Let's go to the next one, because that's getting really fast. Okay, so ice pot. Do I need to do it with each kind? Maybe a little bit in front of this guy. Oops, too far in front. Uh, let's try that again. I mean, let's. All right, let's try that. Ah, there we go. So it needs to be pretty much dead on. Oh, the the crosshairs will. Well, the 
crosshairs are green no matter what I do. This is the training ground for weapons for Cyrodiil. They're fun. <laughs> okay, so this one's lightning. Whoops. Oh, I like this one. They're not going to let me fire it if I don't know how to do it. Okay, so then this is the catapult. Oh, see now this one is almost got the, the life is almost used up. So let's see what happens when we use up all of the the life of the catapult. So let's see. Oh wow, that um, really scattered. <laughs> Can it make, make it to the house? Eh, not really. It kind of goes everywhere. It has quite the life on this one. I wonder if I could just... Alright, let's just do this. Yeah, these are fun. I like the ballista better, but yeah. Okay, I'm trying to use this one up, so I want to see what happens when it, all the life is used up and the and it's worn out. I think here it probably just um, resets, but I think on the battleground you have to repair it. Maybe that'll do it. There we go. So the life is completely used up. Oh, it fell apart. Okay, so because it's the training ground, it resets. So now you'll see the life is all the way at the, at the beginning. So I don't know if you have to completely get a new ballista or if you just have to repair it. So you get different pieces. Um, I'm not doing the meat bag. That's just gross. Cool. Oh! That one broke too. Alright, so let's go talk to... So we got what? What did we get? 32,400 and... No. 33,245 30, alliance points and some gold. Let's see what we so get now. So soon you've learned all there is to know about siege engines. I'm done practicing. Oh. You can buy these weapons from siege merchants at our gates and castles, yes? Yes. Anything else I should know? You should also know how to repair walls, doors, and siege engines. Enemies will batter our castle walls and doors. Yeah, that's a good we thing must to undo know. this damage to hold on to our castles. Siege weapons can also be damaged. Repair is often needed. How do I repair? Driving off attackers is always the first step. Then repair kits can fix some of the damage, yes? Here is a practice repair kit for a siege weapon. Use it on a trebuchet, catapult, or ballista. When done, Taralyn will speak with you. I'll speak to Taralyn once I finish practicing. Okay, this part really confused me because they don't give you any directions. Okay, I guess there is a little bit um, on the side here, but it always goes so fast. To repair walls, keeps doors, or siege weapons, you must first place a proper keep repair kit in a quick slot. Hold, yeah, see, it's too fast. Okay, so to do this, you go to your inventory, you go to your quick slots, and then repair, ah, if I can type, okay, practice siege repair kit, and we're going to drop it in, and then we click slot, we use this, okay, now, if I can remember correctly, nope, okay, so then we must just... Yeah, okay, so you just click the cue while you're pointed at it, and it repairs it. And then you'll notice now we have zero in our 
our quick slots. Okay, um, to get to the start, you go to your uh, menu here, to this castle, to the Alliance Wars, and you'll need to pick one that, um, one of these here. Um, I just did the below 50 because it's usually pretty low. It's usually not a lot of traffic there. <clears throat> if I don't do that one, I'll, I'll often do standard um, or C no CP points. I, I kind of like that one because I'm not really a fighter. I'm not one of these fancy arena type people. But you can also do the alliance ones, but you'll see those are a lot busier. So um, once you find this, um, you just highlight over this and at the bottom down here, it'll say enter campaign. I think it's what it says, enter campaign. Um, and I think it's an F. You just push F. Um, it'll bring up, usually it'll put you in a queue. Um, and if it's, and if they're, if it's just one or one bar, it's usually pretty fast. You know, within a minute you're picked up and you're teleported um, into Cyrodiil. If it's two, you might have a wait. If it's three, I mean, I've heard people when some of the events and stuff were going on in Cyrodiil where um, the wait time was an hour or more. So it just really depends. So the estimated wait right now is one minute. But like here, um, it, it, it says the estimated wait is one minute. I don't understand. This one's full. So if you're uh, dagger, Daggerfall, you can't enter that one. It's, it's full. They only allow so many people into a campaign at a time. So, oh, hello, and um, we've walked it, we've walked everybody through the whole thing. We're almost done here, but um, I will go ahead and load this video up to YouTube if you want to watch it later, or you can still view it on Twitch for, I think, two weeks. Greetings, soldier. I was told to report to you. You are always welcome here, warrior. But now, others need to speak with you. Okay, so it looks like you earn about 7,000 alliance points for completing that, that starting quest. Oh, yeah. Um, in fact, tomorrow... Um, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to stream it. Um, I haven't talked to the last person who's going with us to make sure that they are okay being on the stream. Tomorrow night, we plan to go to... Ooh! That message that just came up. Hold on. At the Eldestral Temple of Nem. I'll go Protect speak to her. Okay, so that is another part of these quests. Um... Oh, it doesn't show me on my map. I guess I have to be outside my gate. There will be these little white um, markers on your map. And if you go to them, you have to battle for it. But you get this hammer. And I'll show you in a few minutes what it... It, it would make you darn near invincible um, here. Yeah, well, at the moment, it, it's... It's very fluid. <laughs> okay, so where am I going now? Report for duty. Oh, I'm going to go out to the temple. Um, looks like I can go here and across. Let's do that. Um, they are spent back at your home location. There are... Um, merchants that you can use they, they're spent they're spent in Cyrodiil um, and you can buy home furnishings you can buy the ballistas and trebuchets and those things and just depends on how you want to spend the points it is it's it really is kind of fun and I found that a lot of times um, you'll find that um, you'll see that there's like, battles going on. Um, like right now there's a battle here. But it's under attack. But you'll see that the Almeri... Oh, now it's red. Ebonheart just attacked them. But you'll see that 
Alt Mary has zero siege weapons there, which means Ebonheart is attacking. They probably have a team doing it together that um, is a group that's together, and they're probably just fighting the NPCs that are there. So it's just, it's usually just fighting NPCs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, um, if you go back and look at our um, past videos, um, you can see we have figured out how to get in behind the gates and get the sky shards that are back there because each faction has two sky shards that are behind gates and you can only get to them if you cross gates and if you're alone it's almost impossible to get past the guards unless you use our little secret trick <laughs> um, so if we can stream on Friday we'll show that again hopefully um, on how to get those. Oh, I need to make sure I get the sky shards from my locations, too. So, we have actually done a video one or maybe two where um, I'm, actually, I'm actually streaming with um, my new account. <clears throat> but my OCD mom that I usually use, she has all of the above ground sky shards. We have not gone after the delves yet. We, we want to do that soon, but we haven't done it yet. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. I can't take a horse into a temple. I just... Okay, so here's the lady. Greetings, soldier. You stand in a holy place. The Elder Scrolls are a sacred charge of then the Then somebody Mary else Dominion. goes, hey, we gotta go we in and get it back. The and from those who would defile I've or seen it where them. it's been almost complete, but usually then somebody will come in and take theirs back. Um, yeah, there are add-ons for Sky Shards that'll show you exactly where they are. Um, there's also web pages that have um, pictures that make it so easy. Let me see if I can get that for you. Because sometimes they're hidden at the top of um, towers or inside buildings. So, um, there is, um, let me see, this is just easier to do it this way. This is the one that I use, um, and that's just the one for the Alt Mary. There's also the Daggerfall, um, the Ebonheart, and the Mountain Sky Shard. Yeah, the, the add-on, I don't have it, just because I like to be a little more organic. Um, I, might, I might add it on for uh, just a sample for when we go do the Sky Shards um, on Friday, because I've already done them. I, two, three times I've gotten all of them. So um, maybe I'll do the add-on and uh, be able to show you how that looks on Friday. Um, so let me say, I'd like to learn more about them. Every member of the Dominion should cherish the Elder Scrolls. Our sacred trust to protect them must be our primary focus. The Elder Scrolls are prophecies um, in The website essence, is E-S-O-U-I, is it dot org? Oh, dot com. It is dot com. So it's E S O U I dot com. Um, there is another one, um, and you can also download Minion, which will help you with updating your add ons and keeping them current. Uh, what else can you tell me about the Elder Scrolls themselves? The scrolls contain records of all past and future events, but they cannot be read without a severe price. Madness. Why are the Elder Scrolls kept in temples? The temples are... Um, I think that's all I need to know about the Elder Scrolls. 
How do we capture the enemy's Elder Scrolls? The Grand Warlord. Lock it. Okay, and Lock this cast. will give you the um, the sky shards. That helps you download the Once app. The are captured, or I mean the add-on for the, the sky shards. The way to the temple is open. What then? The Elder Scroll must be taken from its temple and brought to one of our six original castles. Once there, it must be placed upon a scroll pedestal. Needless to say, capturing an Elder Scroll requires the cooperation of many soldiers. Why, yeah, it usually takes about 12 people to capture a, a, a scroll. Why are the Elder Scrolls important to the Dominion? Every Elder Scroll we hold grants power to all the soldiers of our Alliance. This is another reason our enemies cannot be allowed to keep any of them. I think that's all I need to know about Elder Scrolls. Books in this temple contain information about the scrolls, if you wish to know more. When you are done here, go speak with Grand Warlord Sokolin. Anything else you need to know about the war, she can tell you. Okay, I'll go speak to her. So we're back to, going back to the beginning. Now let's grab the books before we... Um... Okay, so that's facing directly east. I get confused because I go in a whole circle here. So that must be that one there. All right, so now we head back. Oh, okay, on my mini map, can you see the white? Um, it looks like just two bars across and one down. Let me see if I can get it on the regular map. It doesn't go it on the regular map. So it's my mini map. So you'll see this little marker here. I wonder if I can get there from here. I think you have to, um, let's try. I think you have to have done the quest first before you can, before you can get the hammer. But yeah, that hammer would make you nigh on invincible in Cyrodiil. Careful, I don't want to get too close. Oh, there they are. Okay, so I don't want to get too terribly close. We haven't actually done it, but if you can go up and you can defeat these guys, I wanted to get to from a top view so you could see them. Um, if you can defeat them, you can take this hammer and it is An ultimate weapon. Is it actually sitting there? Oh, he's seeing me now. Uh-oh. Ah! <laughs> I'm, I'm in no position to fight three of those guys. They are tough. <laughs> oh, they are coming across the water. I guess that's a fast way back to the way shrine. Will they keep fighting me? I should have drawn them away. You know, we could do that as a team. You draw them away and then somebody else sneaks up and grabs the hammer. <gasps> that might be something we can try. Ah, that'd be fun. Anyway, yeah, you have to fight those guys. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if I can get back up now that I've jumped down.
So um, those little shrines are all over the, the map, and if you can get to one and get the hammer before somebody else does, then you get to use it um, as your weapon of choice. Oh, I don't know. I never thought about that. Um, yeah, you still have to contend with the other ones, though. That would be the problem. Oh, I have it. Mm. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll try that tomorrow. and Or maybe when I'm all done, I will try it. Um, I don't want to get, <laughs> get killed right now. Okay, so let's head back. I, you know what? I would love it if, if um, we saw it once and we didn't know what was going on, so we didn't do it. Um, but yeah, if, if it comes up while we're out running around and I'm streaming, I will, I will try and do it. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I get killed? <laughs> You are near the end of your training, oh, soldier. We have yet to explain the tactics used to capture the enemy's castles and resources. How do we do that? Defenders <coughs> must be overcome and our banner must be raised on the flagpole. For castles, we must breach walls or sunder gates to reach the heart of the enemy's stronghold. All easier said than done, as you will see. Yeah. Uh, what do we get from doing this? We are the only alliance fit to rule Cyrodiil. Taking the enemy's castles and resources is the way to prove this. Your participation in these actions enables you to acquire equipment and weapons from Dominion Siege Merchants. Is there anything else I need to know? I determine the goals of the Dominion Army in Cyrodiil. Vilya carries my orders to General Foron and General Ataba, who post them on the mission boards. Speak with General Foron to learn more. Thank you. All right, so let's, um, is this a book or is this just orders? Letter to Grand Marshal. Uh, Grand Warlord, though it makes me uneasy, I concur with your decision to retain control of the Elder Scrolls. Our troops need the boons the scrolls provide, and turning them over to the Moth Priestess would be tantamount to handing them to the Pact or Covenant. Well, okay, so it's just... <clears throat> oh, there's a book, though. Okay, so we need to talk to this guy. <laughs> Sorry, soldier. Very busy here right now. Grand Warlord sent me to you. New recruit, eh? Now you need to know about our mission boards. The bounty and scouting boards are on either side of me. Every so often, Sorklin sends Vilya over with new missions. I post them to the boards for all to see. Tell me about bounty missions. Bounty missions are simple. Kill enemy soldiers. If Those you kill tough. enough of them, come back for a reward. Uh, I'd like to hear about scouting missions. Information is vital to winning this war. Each scouting mission sends you to a target deep in enemy territory. If you can get there and look around, report back as soon as possible. Are there other types of missions? General Ataba supervises the other missions. Speak with her to learn about them. She's on the other side of the gate. All right, I'll go speak to her. The scouting missions really are not that hard, and their rewards are pretty good. Take They're just time-consuming. Bases. Swords, uh, yeah. axes. We're gonna come back. That's the hammer. Whatever happens to bludgeoning someone to death with a wheel? It's a fine day for the war. Ouch. Yes. Uh, General Thorin sent me to you. It is good that he did so, as the battle and warfront missions are under Ataba's care. Milia brings Grand Warlord Sorkalin's orders. These Ataba posts for brave warriors to see and accept. You have questions? Tell me about battle missions. Battle missions send groups of soldiers right. to capture valuable enemy resources, yes? The farm, lumber mill, and mine around each castle support its war efforts. If we capture those resources, that castle is greatly weakened. What are warfront missions? Warfront missions are Ataba's favorites. These are major attacks to capture enemy castles. Many brave warriors are needed. Taking castles from our enemies is the key to the Dominion controlling Cyrodiil. Is that everything? The rest is best learned through experience. The mission boards contain Grand Warlord Sorkalin's latest orders. 
Ataba suggests a scouting mission to start. Welcome to the war! Del Tower Queen Arian and the Thalmor want frequent updates. Oh, I got another skill point. And I'm sending reports daily to satisfy curiosity. Ah, so see now that the hammer has been um somebody's got it. So let's go see what that hammer is all about. We go to Shiragorath, and he's the one that explains it to us. You there, with the rippling muscles and the confused face! Do you enjoy tumbling fun with violence? Ah, of course you do! Don't worry about these level-headed losers. No one can see me but you. You possess a special untapped talent for unhinged insanity! What do you want? What does Shiragorath always want? I am the Mad Star! The Mad God! Ironically, I'm actually quite happy. But I'm neither here nor anywhere. All that matters at the moment is infusing some entertainment into this dreadfully dull bloodshed. War isn't supposed to be entertaining. <laughs> Not with that attitude, is it? I can teach you a trick that will swing the war in your alliance's favor while bringing a smile to the ever-changing face of your favorite Daedric Prince. I'm talking about me, just in case that wasn't clear. I'm listening. I don't mind you mortals constantly murdering each other, but when it kill you to crack more skulls, oh, I think I have just a thing. Uh, what do you have in mind? That, my mortal friend, is a dangerous and delicious inquiry. I want to give you the power of Volandrum. And don't be fooled by the funny name. Malakath's giant hammer is no laughing matter. Unless you're like me and you enjoy watching skulls explode. You stole Malakath's hammer? Of course not. I simply borrowed it for an indeterminate amount of time. And now you can borrow it from me to shower the battlefield with the brains of your enemies. I don't recommend literally showering in anyone's brains, by the way. Too slippery. Where is Fuller the Voldron now? Back in Cheesemonger's Hollow with the rest of me madness. Would you like to visit? I can open the portal and take us there right now. I don't know how often you travel by portal, but it, it really is quite nice. All right, let's go visit Cheesemonger's Hollow. Follow me to all of the cheese laden madness a mortal mind can handle. take any cheese no cheese in cheesemonger hollow okay so there is the hammer feel that that's the power of a true daedric artifact my friend by the way i forgot to mention that if you don't feel voluntary souls and you feel on yours what did he say oh is there cheese here ha huh, no cheese come on all right, so we're going to head down here. Where he's going to teach us how to use this thing. Okay, I guess I just... Whack, whack. There's another one. Oh, I guess this is just a dummies. Oh. It's got a notice up in the bottom that just... Ability one. Oh, you. Oh, use ability one. Sorry. Okay, so. Whoops. Okay. 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 So now I'm gonna have to use. 
usability too on the light dummy. This is the heavy dummy. So the next spot is Okay, so I'm going to use the number two. Yeah. Are you ready? This is the best part! The killing part! No kill this is in! Well done! Now you're ready to kill all sorts of idiots! I already went ahead and summoned some for you. Guard! Okay, so next I'm going to use ability three. So I guess it has its own ability bar. We don't get any cheese. Oops, I think I took the wrong turn. That's So unfortunately, um, you can't take it out of here. You can only come here and play with it. And um, in order to use it in the regular, you have to actually earn it. entertaining as I'd hoped. I've always said that everything is better with exploding heads. You have to use this hammer in a three banners war. I might finally be able to watch an entire battle without falling asleep. But won't it eat my soul? Souls are overrated. Just ask Cadwell. He doesn't have a soul and he's happy as a decapitated clam. We both know you want the power. Sometimes getting what you want means giving up a little bit of your eternal soul. Do I have what a soul? I thought I lost it. Um, can I get rid of Voltron after I pick it up? You can't leave Malakath's enchanted murder hammer lying around for just anyone to pick up. You can always bring it back here to play with. Uncle Shale's house, Uncle Shale's rules. But if you pick up a greater artifact in Cyrodiil, you're committed. Um, I don't want to trade my soul for power. Ugh, confusion and guilt of my bread and butter. Madness is my cheese! Moral fortitude is my Moulin Chevre salad! If I wasn't immortal, I'd be starving right now! We're done here! Get out! Happy head exploding! Oh, I have to leave, but I get a little more. What are you still doing here? You're confused, aren't you? I get the feeling that you're a very confused person in general. You have that look about you. I probably do. Can I use it again? It would be a shame if you happened to find it lying at your feet in Cyrodiil and had no idea how to use it. Pick it up and do your head splattering best. Just put it back when you've finished. Things tend to get lost around here. Mines, mostly. Do you plan on acquiring more greater artifacts? I appreciate your boundless curiosity and understated thirst for power. A dependably entertaining and mentally malleable combination. I'll be borrowing many more items from my endlessly serious siblings. Someone has to keep them on their toes. All right, so let's try it again. I just want to try. I want to show. You. Where's that heavy guy? All right, so we've got ability one. Ability two. Here. Yeah, 
I don't have never I've never tried ability four and five, so we'll see what they do. Ah! What did that do? Ah! I don't know what that did. Okay, why can't why is it five lit up? Oh, looks like Like it increases my health when they die. And oh, it makes me really fast. Okay, so let's see. Five? Can I do five? Um, I guess five you can't use? Let's see. Uh oh. If inventory is going to tell me. No, it doesn't let me look. So I don't know why number five. I guess you have to try that once you get. Uh, get on the battlefield and earn it, I guess. Anyway, I don't know that I will ever get to uh, actually wield that thing, but it's fun to play with.
Okay, so and then the, um, that portal just stays there from then on and you can just go in there and play anytime you want to play. So let's see here. Scouting mission. Examine notice. The Dominion must know the enemy's strength at Blue Ro Road Keep. Scouts are urgently needed for a dangerous mission. So where is... Oh! Yikes! So the person that's holding you the hammer is right there. Um, and I have a choice between going here. This keeps about to get lost or going through him. Oh, you know what? This may not be an easy little uh, scouting mission <laughs> like they usually are. Oh no, I just lost my... Um, Guess I'm going here. I might swing wide. Yeah, he he's coming this way with that hammer. I <laughs> I need to get out of here. I'm headed in the opposite direction. I'm gonna, oh, I've got to get around that river, though. He's gonna come across that bridge. Hopefully they'll be staying there for just a minute longer. Let me across this bridge. Do not go in the water. No matter what you do, stay out of the water in Cyrodiil. It is full of slaughterfish. You will die almost instantly. Okay, so let's see if I can do this without getting killed. I'm going to bring this one, oh, this account over to do the, um, the Sky Shard run. I'm going to need more stamina. So, um, if you have good stealth, you can probably sneak by. Um, you have a colored marker over your head. And the thing is, you cannot talk to anybody on any of the other um, alliances. Oh, he lost his hammer. He must have died in that battle. I wonder if he was trying to do the whole battle by himself. That's why it turned, um, that's why it turned white. Um, so yeah, if somebody comes up to you from another alliance, you can't just say, hey, I'm, okay, so he, see, now I have my note here in the middle, it says use scouting report. So I've got a little clipboard in my hand, and now I, apparently I've written my notes, and I can return to the board and collect my rewards. So I guess the guy that was holding the uh, hammer was from my alliance, so I guess I would have been safe. I thought he was battling yellow, I didn't realize, okay.
Oh, shoot. Um, really low water you can go into, but um, I'm afraid of any water at this point. In case in point, very low water. But here I want to stay out of the water. I'm headed the wrong way anyway. I might get into this mess. have to think about that before Friday and how I'm going to restore my stamina and manage better. Oops, I overshot. These bridges are dangerous because you can't see if there's anybody hiding in here. Alright, we made it. So I just need to get back to the keep. Post report and an army is only as strong as the heroes who lead it. Keep up the good work. Yay, me. Okay, so, um. <clears throat> I have had a troubles with being able to figure out, I think it's here, me station, oh I think maybe it's here, home goods furniture, alright let's try that. So, um, to be able to check, you go to your inventory, you go to your coins, and you'll see we've earned 11,900 alliance points. Um, I, if, if you go to your bank, you can deposit those so that you don't lose them, but while you're here, you cannot... Um, use your bank to get them out so I, there might be a bank available yeah so there's a bank here I guess you could go there and um, get it out but the portable banks you can't access those from inside Cyrodiil okay so
something special for you. Okay, so here's where you can spend your um, alliance points. So let's see. Oh, I'm gonna repair. I don't. Okay, so. Ooh, a block of wood. Um, I mean, I guess these things could come in handy. I mean, I could see where. Um, I know a place I needed to, uh, a small rock to uh, be able to make a step, so, you know, that might not be bad. These are, I mean, for decorations. It, that's a very tiny piece of bread. <laughs> oh, a clothesline! Does it... Oh, you can't light it, though. Oh, there's a bed of hay. A plank. Oh, you know what? This could come in handy. Um, I need to build... Um, I need to build a walkway up my mountain, so that would be... Oh, there's a cute stool. Tea table. Okay, so that's the furnishings that you can buy. Um, let me see if... Does this guy have anything too? Hey. Okay, so I, for the most part, I can't... A decoy Elder Scroll. I guess you can put those in your house. So I guess you have to, you must be rank of Tyro, you must be rank of Veteran, so I must be real low. So I guess you can decorate your house with these, that's a furnishing. This is a surplus dominion. What is this? Surplus dominion point capture flag? No, that's not. What was that? Okay. Um, oh, surplus dominion forward camp. All right. You know what? That might come in handy for uh, <laughs> lighting in one of my marker places. Throw in a Cyrodiil. <gasps> oh, you can get a replica? I wonder if you can... Uh... Oh, maybe you can't use it. You can just look at it. Two million? What? Let's see, what does this person have? Sebazi greets you, Walker. Return when you have risen higher in the Fighter's Guild. Oh, so I'm too low in the Fighter's Guild to talk to her. <laughs> I'm not speaking to you, peon. <laughs> Fur in your...
Okay, so that's where you can spend your alliance points and the things that you can get. Um, was that a... Oh, it's non-functioning. Um, I guess this is just for roleplay purposes. You can't even lay down on it, so... You can't talk to her. Melons, bitter greens, and jasmine, and seaweed. So, um, most everything in here you can um, take without stealing. Um, they give you supplies, so you, if you need to fight, bread, cheese, cheese. Anyway. So that's the, how you start Cyrodiil. Now to leave, um, I think I have to go back. Yeah, I have to go back to the other location. You can't just leave from here. You have to return to your main post. And then from there, you can go to the Way Shrine. And from the way shrine, then you can teleport out to wherever you want to go. So that is how you start Cyrodiil. From then, you can go ahead and take um, quests, jobs. You can just go out with friends and beat up on NPCs and try to take locations. You can go out and see if you can find other players to fight. Once again, if you want to get into a battle, you pick the one you want, you highlight over it. Oh, sorry, it's an E. It's Enter Campaign E. And um, I don't know what the R means. R means, are you sure you wish to set your home campaign? Oh, I know I don't. You will not be able to change your home campaign for 12 hours. This change is free, however, future changes will occur at a cost of alliance pace. No, so I don't want to do that. Um, so anyway, that's the introduction to Cyrodiil. Um, hopefully we will see you tonight at 8 o'clock. Till then, have fun.